Ariel Gilbert is an amazing athlete with an even more amazing story of perseverance. In her early 50s, Gilbert was named to the U.S. National Adaptive Rowing Team. Gilbert is blind. After losing her sight in 1988, the former nurse rediscovered her old college sport, rowing. Ariel began rowing in college at Humboldt State. After college, she began her career as a pediatric nurse, and 16 years later, her life was altered forever. Bought some over-the-counter eye drops, and unbeknownst to me, they'd been tampered with, and instead of having eye drops in them, they had lye in them. And I had a real instant, dramatic life change at that moment. Six months of depression followed, and Ariel then enrolled in a state school for the blind, deciding she had to make the very best of her altered life. You know, sort of how to do everything without being able to see, you know, keep a checkbook, cook, um, you know, besides using a cane, use Braille, uh, in, in order to adapt. I realized at that moment that whatever I wanted to do, I could do it with my dog by my side. A former rowing partner heard about what had happened to Ariel and invited her for a row. We're going rowing in a double. You, you, I mean, you've been rowing for years. You have the feeling in, in your muscles and the memory, um, and there's no reason you can't row. Slowly, her life came back together. After volunteering for five years at Guide Dogs for the Blind, she was selected to be the director of volunteers for the entire organization. With extensive training, she made the U.S. national rowing team in the adaptive division. It's not about what you can't do. It's really clearly about what you can do. One of the most amazing things is just her attitude towards life and rowing and anything is possible. Ariel was inducted into the National Jewish Sports Hall of Fame on March the 28th, the exact day she lost her sight 16 years earlier. And now it's kind of transformed to a whole new meaning. Ariel's mother couldn't be prouder. Well, I don't think there's any greater pride that a parent could have than that which I have for her. What I realized when I started thinking about what this award meant to me was I looked at uh, being awarded uh, for uh, my heritage, my family, my friends, my community, all pulled together to help me transcend a period of time that for me seemed really dark and like the end of a period in my life. Athletics has always been a really important part of my life. It, it gives balance to my life and that the Jewish community plays, puts an importance on sports and athletics and not just academics is it, I think is a really important thing, and it's an honor to be recognized for my athletic abilities.